Hello everyone, this is Raz. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain about Mendeley, which is a free referencing tool. Okay. So before going into the software, let me show you some of the features of Mendeley. So these are my top favorite features. So please let me know what are your favorite features of Mendeley. So first of all, it's free. Okay. Um, and it can be installed in multiple platforms like Windows and Mac and Linux. There is even an Android, iOS and iPad application so that you can use in your smartphones and mobile devices. You can sign in and sync across multiple devices by creating an account. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Similarly, you can even search the literature within the software so that even saves out time to do the referencing manually. And also you can manage your library with separate folders within Mendeley. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. And also there are plugins for Microsoft Word as well as LibreOffice which makes it easier to do the referencing when you are preparing any document. Also you can import the BibTeX files from Google Scholar so that it will be easy for uh, referencing from the Google Scholar directly in Mendeley. Also it has the ability to cite directly from the web pages uh, which has the web importer for Chrome, Firefox, Safari and even Microsoft A's so that it becomes easy for citing the websites whenever you visit them. And also there are dedicated manuals available at the publisher side and also in the internet. Also there are plenty of referencing styles in Mendeley. Uh, some of them are inbuilt and uh, there are even more to download when you search within. So I'll show you how to do that. Similarly, it's quite easy to learn and use. So these are my top favorite Mendeley features. So let me go into the software directly, okay? So, um, to install Mendeley uh, in Google, you can simply type M E N T E L E Y Mendeley, and then it will show you the link. Okay, it will show you the website of Mendeley in which you can click on download and install the software. So let me show you uh, briefly on how to download and install it. So here uh, you can download the software. Okay, and even uh, you can create a free account which will be used later to sign in. So when you download the software and when you install it. Let me show you how it works. So this is the software. Once you install it, it says "Welcome to Mendeley," and you have to sign in using your email and password. So you have to create one account using the register button and fill in the forms. It's quite easy, and after that, you um, uh, you have to sign in using the email and password. Okay. So let me uh, sign in and then come back to you. So once you sign, uh, you'll be greeted with uh, this message: "Welcome to Mendeley." In which it says that the software has been installed and even the citation plugin for Microsoft Word has been installed because I've been using Microsoft Word. You can close this window. Now you can uh, even see the hints. Okay, so you can just close this button. Now you can see this window of Mendeley Desktop. So I've been using Mendeley Desktop right now. And here is the uh, account information that I will see on the top. Here you can add the references. Okay, so here is the uh, add button. So there are different folders, so you can you can create different folders for different projects. So here is a business folder, human rights, landscape, based on my different projects that are ongoing. So even I can create a new folder, for example, here, create a TRIAL trial, and here enter. Now when you select this folder, and then even you can add the references manually. Here you can add the, uh, add the entry manually, or even you can add the files uh, by importing from Google Scholar. So now let me show you how to add the files from Google Scholar, okay? So all of us know to open Google Scholar, you type scholar.google.com and uh, so you'll be greeted with the window of Google Scholar. So you can search the article, let's say, obesity epidemic in the world. For example, this is the article, so obviously the epidemic uh, in children and adolescents in the world, this is the article. So here on the bottom you can see the site button, you click on that and you can see the BibTeX. So click on BibTeX, so this is the code, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the details of the reference, uh, that particular reference. Okay, So you can save this BibTeX file somewhere else, let's say, um, obesity epidemic bibtx1 so you have to remember the folder in which you are downloading that particular file so I'm downloading it in uh, the downloads folder and then click on save so now you go back to Mendeley go back to the folder that you're working on or the library that you're working on so this is the trial one and then click on add button 
and then add files so obesity epidemic vip text one g numeric is the file that i just saved right now and then when you click on open you see that the reference is already imported now uh, let's work on the microsoft word document and let's try importing this reference in the word okay so now for example we are um, writing an article entitled obesity epidemic in the world a review of literature so this is the title and uh, let me write few sentences obesity is rising in the world and even among the children okay so if I borrow this sentence from one of the articles let's say this article and I want to cite it I want to, to do the referencing from this particular article and what I can do is that when I install Mendeley then automatically um, the references the Mendeley um, features will be installed in Microsoft Word okay so if not you can even install them manually and then click on insert citation okay so make sure that you have opened and signed in Mendeley before doing that so I have already opened the software and I have already signed in okay so click on insert citation and then click on go to Mendeley and then select this particular reference and then click on cite so here you go so this this kept the referencing number one because i even i can choose the style from here so if i want to do american psychological association sixth edition then it will show in the author and year format if i want to do vancouver you can i i can choose vancouver and even i can choose more styles okay so let me um for right now let me choose vancouver which is uh, very commonly used in the medical field for example, uh, I want to put another reference uh, here. So let me go back to Google Scholar. So for example, uh, this is another article, the worldwide obesity epidemic. And let's say, so let me go back to, um, okay, let me first import this article in uh, mentally, okay. So click on this one in the same style, click on VIP tags, and then save this one, name this um, worldwide obesity epidemic and click on save go back to Mendeley okay in the same style choose that particular folder select add and then click on add files and here is the file that I that you uh, just saved click on open and here is the reference that it imported and then now go back to or let's say obesity is rising in the world and then this is uh, the place where you want to put that reference and this is the another one that you want to um, that, is, that is the one that you inserted earlier and here if you want to put that particular reference click on insert citation so for example you want to insert the uh, reference over here and then now you do the same step go to uh, insert citation click on go to Mendeley and this is the reference that you want to insert okay not the previous one because the previous one you have already inserted Select this, okay, single click, and then you, you can see the highlighted color. Click on site. Now you can see that it becomes one, and the next one becomes two automatically. And in this way, you can keep on adding the references. And at the end, you can, you can insert the bibliography by clicking on this button, insert bibliography. And here we go. So, references, and then go to home. So you can... Um, add the different uh, paragraphs and then at the end you can add the references and for example if you uh, if you want to change the order of uh, for example if you move this here and then move this at the end for example let's say for example if you, if you move this paragraph um, on the front okay so here is two and here is one but if you go to references and if you if you click and refresh then automatically um, two becomes one and one becomes two and the order also keeps on changing. So referencing using mental is quite easy and it's automatic. It makes our tax quite easier and also the information is not lost when you uh, travel um, in another place because these are saved using your account. So you, when you sign in and save in, in your account, then this is quite easy, okay? 
so this is it uh, about Mendeley so I have to show you some more features like how to do the search of the literature or how to do literature review within Mendeley so let me show you the, those steps okay so now in Mendeley for example if, if you want to do the literature review within Mendeley um, then on the top left you can see literature search okay so here when, when you are connected to the internet then you can search the literature over here for example rising garden of let's say obesity in the world and then hit enter here you can see rising burden of obesity in asia um the epidemiology of obesity and a big picture the rising burden of cancer in the developing world for example if you want to save this particular reference and you can you, you can even see the abstract over here on the on the, on the right you can preview it and for example if you want to um, copy some information from here if you want to borrow some information and put this as a reference for example the epidemic of overweight and obesity presents a major challenge to chronic disease prevention and health across life course and for example uh, epidemic of obesity is challenging throughout the life course or something like that and then you want to uh, do the referencing from this particular source and what you can do is you can drag this okay here to the folder that you are working on and then when you click on this particular uh, folder then so after dragging, you can see um, the reference being imported over here, okay? Here you can see there are two initially, now one is added by searching the literature from within the software. So the epidemiology of obesity, a big picture, and then go back to the document. For example, here you want to add one more reference, click on insert citation, click on go to Mendeley, select that particular reference, click on cite, so the reference will be added and here also it will be added okay so if you want to change the style go back uh, to the styles and then click on the particular style that you want to do so here okay so you can see that okay this this, this comes in author and year format you can see the format uh, being changed So another uh, another feature of Mendeley is uh, being able to import the references from from the websites directly. Okay, for example, let me open one website. Um, WHO or health topics. Obviously, for example, um, obviously an overweight World Health Organization, and let's say you want to import some of the information from that particular website, and you click on that one. Um, so let's wait for some time until the information loads depending on the internet connection so it's taking some time to load so here you can see the information from the WHO website so obviously and overweight in the western pacific and when you install Mendeley and here you can see the Mendeley web importer plugin so even you can install this uh, manually by going into the uh, extension store or the plugin store or the chrome web store if you're using chrome or um, like any other browser so usually this uh, uh, when you install mentally this will be installed automatically it, it asks you uh, whether to install it and then you can install it you can see the M sign over here on the top so for example you want to uh, cite this particular website and then click on that particular link and after that so you have to log in here click on get started and then you have to log in okay so when you click on sign in take some time so here you can um, see my library so you can so this is the particular website that you want to add so for example so now it shows you the folder okay so trial folder when you log in because I'm working on this particular folder I select this one and then I click on add okay so when I click on add this will be added and then when I go back to Mendeley and if I want to display that here you have to click on sync here you can you can click on sync and then after some time you can see that here you can see 
obviously an overweight in Western Pacific and then the reference will be added. So one of the drawback of uh, importing from the website is that there may be some errors in importing because it, it doesn't automatically recognize all the all the fields okay so the author here you might have to type manually let's say w h o word of the organization okay so so w h o is the um, author or you, you can you can you can you can type in circuit okay w h o so other fields let's say air so you can type the year manually if you, if you see there so in this way you can you can update the fields so for example now um, you want to cite this one so you want to do um, follow the same steps you have to follow the same steps so like according to w h o blah 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 click on insert citation click on go mentally and select this particular one click on cite so WSO no date because you didn't insert the date over there so in this way you can import the um, websites directly in mentally but one of the drawbacks is that it doesn't recognize all the fields okay uh, so the final step that we'll be learning is how to use the manuals or the help guides of Mendeley. So for that, so you can go to help and click on help guides. So when you click on that, then uh, you can see uh, the website in which you can you, you can see you can see the different guides. Okay, so there are help guides for desktop, web, iOS, Android, citation plugins, groups, etc. So this is it, guys. Um, hope you like the video. So. This is manually, so a free software. It's very much useful for referencing. So, so I just briefly touched these uh, features. These are my favorite features. Even you can do more using manually. So you can keep on exploring the software. And if you like the video, please share it with your colleagues. And uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. And uh, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye. Cheers.